Hi, I'm Lulu. Welcome to Lulu's Way. I'm glad you're here. So did I have an exciting day today? Okay, so I spent the morning. I got everything sparkling clean. Every square inch of this van was shining. <laughs> I went down to the dump and dropped my trash off. I went to the water station down, down the street. There's like where you buy the gallons of water, 25 cents a gallon. So that's where we've been getting our water. Um, I wanted to have, even though I didn't need to get water, uh, I had a couple of uh, bags full. I wanted all three of my bags to be full. So my water storage was full. I just wanted everything to be full and perfect. <laughs> and uh, it was such fun. Oh my God. It was so great to meet him. He was a pleasure to, um, to talk with. And, uh, you know, we did the whole tour and the filming. It went really easy. Um, I kind of was yakking an awful lot, so I don't know how much they'll cut out of it. <laughs> and, uh, at one point he was like, yeah, I think we'll stop now. And I was like, okay. And then like, I was like, oh, one more thing. <laughs> one more thing. I got to show you this. So I showed him something else and he's like, okay. And then he's like, now we'll do the thumbnail shots. So we did some thumbnail shots. I was like, oh, but there's something else I got to show you. <laughs> so I, I kept thinking of things that I forgot. And uh, so he was like, okay. <laughs> so we'll see how it turns out. I'm excited about it. I know that there's a, a, a friend of mine that's a YouTuber that was toured by him. And uh, she said he never posted it. She says, I guess he didn't like it. And then it was posted one day. It was like a year later. That's how long he takes. He's got a backlog of lots of footage and they get to it when they get to it. So I said to him, um, so will it be, will it be a while before mine's posted? And he said, yeah, it'll be a long time. So that's okay. Um, I'll look forward to when he does it, you know, when it is posted. Um, so, uh, it's cold. It's cold and windy. Um, it's, today's an unpleasant day. And guess what I did for the first time? I hosted a guest in my van today. Um, Luann sat right here and I sat right here on the bed facing this way. We were both really comfortable <clears throat> and we had the doors open because then the wind wasn't on us. We just needed to come inside because of the wind. I said, I have a guest in my little teeny van. Then I realized I could see two people on this cooler because it's so long. So I could actually have two guests. It'd be a little tight, but I could have two guests. She came in here because what we did was we booked campsite for Lake Havasu. We were asking some of the people around here that are very familiar with boondocking and they said Lake Havasu, there's no, there's lots of BLM land, but it's none of it's on the water. And we decided that we want to be on the water. So she suggested, why don't we just get a campsite for a few nights? We'll get one near the water. We can sit on the water, be by the water, and just have a few days where we have some amenities like like showers and flushing toilets and water and electric. So that's what we decided to do. We decided to splurge <laughs> on a camp. She's like, wow, we're going to be living in luxury. <laughs> this is what happens when you boondock for all this time. I mean, you you just have like, you're totally off grid, you know? Um, it's really fun. It's interesting. It's fun. It's challenging. And it's, it just stretches you, you know, it's kind of cool and it shows you what you're capable of, you know, very capable. Um, so, so we're leaving tomorrow morning, 8.30, gone. We have about a three and a half, almost four hour drive tomorrow. And we're just gonna, we're just gonna meet there. I'll meet you at the campground. We know what site we're at. Uh, you know, I might want to stop and have lunch. She might want to stop and get groceries. I might want to stop and get groceries. Maybe we want to, somebody got to stop and get gas. So, you know, check-in time is at two o'clock. We're going to leave here at 8.30 and we'll just spend the day on our own, um, doing what we want, um, traveling as, 
as we feel. So it would be 8, 30, 9, 30, 10, 30, 11, 30, 12, 31, 32. So about six hours we'll have to do the four-hour drive. So we'll have some downtime to ourselves and um, and get some things done and stop where, and do whatever we need to do and take care of ourselves. And then we're going to share this camp spot. <clears throat> you can take two vehicles and uh, we'll have electric. We'll have ladies rooms and we'll have showers and we'll be when our campsite is not on the water but it looks like it's probably maybe maybe a five minute walk pops um what i did was i looked at the the whole area on satellite so i found it on google maps i hit the satellite so i could look in on it and so we could actually see what our site looks like and next to the water right at the water there's a sandy beach so it will be really nice to sit and put our feet in the sand and just just sit there on the water we both love the water we lo we loved that at lake mead sitting on the water like that it was just so nice so um yeah so that's what we're going to do and the, that's far enough four hours south uh there's going to be a real cold snap here it's going to get really chilly so we gotta we gotta get out of dodge, you know. It looks like uh, every day looks like around eighties in Lake Havasu. Nights in the fifties. It's like perfect, and we'll be there until Thursday, and then on Thursday we're going to Quartzsite, and we'll be back to Boondocking in Quartzsite. And I'm looking so forward to experiencing that area. It's just very. Um, uh, nomad friendly it just has i'm just looking forward to meeting the people finding another spot and another community of wonderful people uh it's just been such a pleasure um today was a very special day for me that i met bob wells i told him i said you really changed my life and he said i love to hear that I said, you know, six years ago, I was still working in the office. I was watching your videos and I was just so inspired to have experiences like you were having. And I bought a van and I, I got like a cheap minivan. It was old. It only cost $1,900. It was in my mechanic said it was, it was in good condition. And I built out the back of it. And I remember I used to park it in the parking garage at work. And any chance I got, like I'm on a break or a lunch hour, I would go down to my van. I would sit in it just to be in it. And I would, I would imagine doing what I'm doing right now. I would imagine that. Um, I couldn't really use it all that much because I worked. So I would get vacation time. and. I would be very limited, you know, so like I would take a week's vacation and I would go visit my daughter. That was like my destination. Um, she in, in Iowa. So I would take three days to get there. I would spend three days there and then three days back. And then my, my week's vacation with two, two weekends on either end was over. And then I would just need to be back. And then when I was able to just go and not have to count days and not have to be back for anything, oh, that was so sweet when I retired. Um, so, but you know, I didn't wait until all the circumstances were perfect. I just did it. And I did it on a, on a shoestring budget. I put it together very inexpensively, um, just the same way I did this van. I just found things at thrift stores and I put things together and I loved, loved my minivan. Um, and I told him that it was, it was, it was him that really changed my priorities, you know, and I'm really enjoying this just really simple. It's just simple, very simple. Um, and this is why I don't want to be, uh, a tourist in all these towns and I don't want to be a tourist all through Arizona. It's just not my vibe. Um, there's just something about this nomadic 
lifestyle, this um, uh, living off the grid lifestyle, this self-sustaining lifestyle. Like, you just take care of yourself. You just take, spend the day taking care of yourself. It's just, it's a blast. It's just a blast. Everything I do could be annoying if I was annoyed. I could just be annoyed at everything. I just do everything slow. Um, and I, I have realistic expectations. Um, I have so much space. I have so many things. I have, this is what I need to do. To take care of myself. And then it just, it just happens. It's just really fun. It's really fun. Big, big thank you to Bob Wells, my inspiration for a new and improved lifestyle.